All right, guys, good morning. KB32 here. Check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom Studios up north. And uh, hey, real quickly before we get the video started, their M14 is sitting behind me. It's got the Smith Enterprise's side mount. I'm going to do a video. Uh, actually, Darty did it. And we're going to release it later on this afternoon so you can get a little insight on how that works. I know it's not interesting to some people, but I tell you what, learning something new every single day about a firearm is really, really cool. All right, so what are we getting into? The Brooklyn Daily Eagle put out a really cool article about Letitia James. And you know how much we love Letitia James. And I just uh, thought it would be interesting because there's a lot of hypocrisy in er almost everything that she does. And this is why we're doing this video. So we're gonna get on with this thing. Uh, this was authored by a guy named Robert Abruzzisi, courthouse editor from the Brooklyn Eagle. All right, appeal in US versus Perez sparks multi-state defense of gun control law. And guys, you know what? I try to stick to stuff that's uh, pertinent to the Second Amendment stuff. And it's just giving you some insight and some opinion on what I think about it. Attorney General Letitia James has taken a decisive step in supporting state and federal laws that regulate gun sales, leading to a coalition of 22 attorneys generals in filing an amicus brief in the case of U.S. versus Stephen Perez. A little background on Stephen Perez, we'll go into that here real quick. The brief submitted that the United States Court of Appeals for the Second Circuit explains the importance of regulations that require individuals to use a federally licensed firearm dealer when transporting or receiving firearms from outside their state or residence. Now, why do they want to do that? Because they want to control you. They want to be in control of everything. The problem with the, the gun control nuts, unless they feel like they're in complete and total control of you, you're a potential murderer. You're just going to go out and murder somebody. These things are going to jump off the walls and go out and just mow down things. They're grasped. It's like when Princess Leah said, the stronger you grip, the more will slip out of the middle of your fingers or whatever the hell she said. So the states and the federal government should be allowed to enforce basic regulations about who can carry or who can buy and sell guns to ensure that they don't end up in the wrong hands and protect our communities, said Letitia James. We know that these common sense laws. And so let's define common sense. Common sense amongst one person versus common sense about another person is totally two different things. I'll give you an example. Say for instance, you notice most of the women who are wearing the pussy hats, right? They say, my body, my choice. Well, the way I look at it, if you don't own a gun, that's my choice. Stay out of the argument. If you don't have any skin in a game, shut the hell up. So that's the way I look at it. And it's my right. It's a thing called a Second Amendment. Just like you think it's your right to do whatever you want with your body. <laughs> uh, and you know, hey, they're going, to, well, what about the innocent people who are getting killed every day? We're going to get into that here in a few minutes. What about me? What about my right to defend my family? And not have somebody looking over my shoulder 24-7. We know that these common sense laws work and have prevented people from illegally obtaining firearms that could pose a significant threat to others. All right, Letitia James, let's talk about your little city of New York. How many things are going on up there? How many illegal aliens? How many people are shooting cops up there and they get out the same day? No cash bail. There's no friend of mine, no friend of yours. My office will continue to do everything in our power to stop senseless gun violence. No, you won't. Absolutely you won't. And if you did, well, there's a certain a group of people that you'd have to go after and you don't want to go after them because they're gangbangers. If you got rid of that little portion of the shootings, Children are getting shot because, well, they rank everybody 17 and under as an adolescent. So child deaths, gangbangers, people killing each other. Common sense regulations on sale of guns between these two laws. Now, what, now here's the thing that I'm worried, freaks me out a little bit. She says transport firearms across state lines. Well, me, as a private citizen, I can be in the state of Pennsylvania and buy a rifle and take it home. No big deal. What they don't want is you to go to Pennsylvania, buy a rifle, and transport it back to uh, New York because that's completely illegal in their book. Well, on some states, it's not illegal, and it's just common sense. That, ladies and gentlemen, is common sense. Amicus briefs provide courts with additional perspectives and expertise on the legal issues at hand, potentially influencing the court's interpretation of the law and the outcome of the case. They can underscore the broader implications of ruling Yada, yada, yada. Okay, let's get into the whole thing. Uh, Attorney General James is joined in the efforts from North Carolina, uh, some California, Colorado, Connecticut, Delaware, Hawaii, Illinois, Maine, Maryland, Massachusetts, Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, New Jersey, North Carolina. And here in the state of North Carolina, or down in the state of North Carolina, we got an asshole that's running for governor. Thank God 
that we have this thing, the Congress and the Senate of the state, that is overwhelmingly Republican because it keeps that asshole in check, just like Roy Cooper. And thank God all this is in oh, Pennsylvania. Well, the same thing. Josh Shapiro is here, Rhode Island, Vermont, Washington, Wisconsin, the District of Columbia by no surprise. The worst part about this, and he talked about, I was looking at one article earlier and I was thinking about doing it on that, but it was like so long. The problem that we run into, gun violence, is being performed by people who they don't want to go after they, it because it's too difficult. It's so much easier for them just to throw ahead and hit the law-abiding citizens because, well, it makes them feel like they're doing something. Well, I'm doing something to prevent gun violence by going after the innocent. Anyway, guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. I thought this would be an interesting video to go ahead and punch out early this morning. I'm going to put the video for that one out later on this afternoon. I'm going to go out and do some shooting with the, uh, the little guy over there, get that thing zeroed in. This is a 12 and a half inch uh, ballistic advantage barrel. And, uh, well, I'll tell you what, I am going to chrono it just to see the difference in how those rounds react to a 12 and a half inch versus 16 inch barrel. And then we got to take the 2X2 uh, development group barrel out and do an accuracy test on that. Might have to do that next time I come up because I'd really like to go out to the Mifflin County Sportsman Association and take that thing out to five or 600 yards. But, okay, with that being said, uh, we always end them like this. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, and blue. Right there. God bless America. God bless with men, women, and uniform 24 7 for our freedom because freedom is not free. <sighs> Almost a full pot of coffee this morning. <laughs> Y'all be good. KB32, I'm out. Boom. Let me turn that thing off.